Jones is absolutely right, and he's not the only military person saying this, the gravest national security threat we face is an economic catastrophe. And I don't say catastrophe uh, lightly. I believe that we are now facing the possibility, the real possibility of an economic catastrophe, a real meltdown in the US economy. Now, the discussions of defense budget and how much is enough in national security have always started with a throwaway paragraph that said, the most important thing for national security is to have a strong, resilient, growing economy. But then we moved on because we thought we had that, that we could take it for granted. We didn't need to worry about it. So the next question was how much should we spend uh, for defense? But I would submit that that is no longer true. Now, we worried, as uh, Michael points out in his uh, paper, uh, somewhat in the 80s about the future of the American economy, uh, but we thought we fixed it. Uh, we got the budget deficit into surplus. I'm very proud of that because I served in the Clinton administration as budget director. Uh, and uh, we got the economy uh, growing again. But what we didn't fix was our national saving rate. Uh, we didn't fix the fact that we as an economy were living way beyond our means. And now we're facing a very new and different situation. I think it's important to understand that. I, the thing that is bothersome uh, and worrisome is not uh, the current level of the deficit, although that's high, but it's related to the uh, recession and the financial meltdown, which we never should have had. That was dumb policy, but uh, we're here, and uh, we have to get out of it. But what is really scary is what happens to the projections of the federal deficit and rising debt as you look beyond the recession, as the economy recovers. Uh, we are facing a budget deficit that does not go down, uh, it keeps going up, and a debt that rises off the charts. And that's driven by the demographics, uh, the aging population, and more importantly, by our taste for expensive medical care, uh, which we have, and we have to recognize that, uh, that we have it and we need it. Uh, and the combination in the federal budget drives uh, spending up faster than revenues can possibly go. And we're borrowing that from uh, at least half of it uh, from the rest of the world. People say, yeah, the Japanese, they have a higher uh, debt to GDP ratio than we do, but they owe it to themselves. Uh, we don't. Uh, we owe it uh, in large part uh, to uh, the rest of the world. If you think about uh, competition uh, going forward, the long run competition uh, in the world with the Chinese, I would submit that the first thing we need uh, is a strong, growing, resilient American economy. The second thing we need is not to be dependent on them, or not very, uh, for selling our debt. Uh, and way down the list is a strong uh, military. 